headlines for this week include the debut of a nationwide fire safety documentary, fundraising for breast cancer awareness, and the Wheels for All Basketball Classic. Stay tuned, WMCM's Week in Review is next. And a campus court weekend review is next. Performances next week in Valhalla. The evening's program. Hello and thanks for watching WMCM's Week in Review. I'm Noe Anderson. And I'm Kelly Frank. This past Monday, the University of Wisconsin La Crosse had its debut showing of the nationwide fire safety documentary entitled Nine Fires. This documentary not only highlights the Drake Hall fire, but the impact that nine campus-related fires in January and February had on campuses, communities, victims, and families throughout the country. Six people from UWL community, including Joe Gao, will be featured in the documentary sharing their personal experiences and struggles. The summit covered off-campus fire safety and what can be done to address these situations. The documentary was funded and produced by the Michael H. Minger Foundation and Campus Firewatch. The documentary is available to view on the Foundation's website at www.mingerfoundation.org. UWL Campus Police Officer Dave Pell was decked out in pink yesterday morning at Holshire Tower serving coffee and donuts. Pell was hoping to raise money for early detections and treatments for breast cancer awareness. Pell has been involved with the cause for about six years as the fight against breast cancer hits close to home. Pell lost his, both his grandmother and aunt to the disease. His mother and sister, along with six cousins, are all survivors. Earlier this month, Pell organized the Penny War fundraiser in the UWL residence halls. Nine halls raised about $600 for the fight against breast cancer. Those interested in donating to the cause can contact Pell at 785-8000. Now here's Casey Rohan to tell us about Wheels for All Basketball Classic. Thanks, Noe. It's time for the second annual Wheels for All Basketball Classic, hosted by UWL Sports Management Association. <coughs> this four-on-four -four wheelchair basketball tournament is for all UW lacrosse students and staff. It will take place on November 10th for individuals with and without disabilities. The cost is $5 each or $25 per team. Proceeds will benefit the UWL Center on Disability, Health, and Adapted Physical Activity programs. The registration deadline to participate in this event is November 2nd, so be sure to go online and register by next week. The UW Lacrosse Theater Department is presenting Mirror of the Invisible World. It is about the life and adventures of legendary Persian king Baram Gur. The king falls in love with seven princesses from seven different countries and then marries and builds each one a pavilion of a different color. Performance dates are October 25th through the 27th at 7.30 in the evening and October 28th at 2 in the afternoon at the Center for the Arts on the Lacrosse campus. Tickets are $14 for adults, $12 for senior citizens or non-UWL students, and $4 for UWL students with an ID. The University of La Crosse is offering a live online LSAT prep course for anyone interested in gaining admission into law school. This LSAT prep course will help you prepare and master skills needed to ace this important exam. Make sure, make sure you are ready by preparing in the closest way possible. I'll set textbooks, study guides, practice exams, and expert instructions are all included. This easy to follow program uses proven techniques to simplify the LSAT exam. So take advantage of this great opportunity and be sure to take the LSAT prep course online on October 30th from 6 to 9 p.m. Now back to you, Noe. Thanks, Casey. You're watching WMCM, the student-run cable channel responsible for this and many other student-produced programs. The week, this week, we sent our own Zach Wilhelmy to get the scoop behind the scenes. Here at UWL, the broadcasting students put together a variety of shows. All shows are student produced. From behind the scenes to in front of the camera, this gives these students a real hands-on experience in the broadcast and digital media field. Here at WMCM, we offer a variety of shows besides our newscasts. Uh, on Tuesdays, we air shows from 2.30 to 4 o'clock. 
and if you tune in, you'll see anything from gossip to movie reviews to sports to interview shows, and it really gives the students a chance to produce their own shows. It's not as structured as the Thursday's newscast is, and it allows students to use their creativity and, and get hands-on experience in the broadcasting field. The more popular shows on WMCM are Sports Talk Live, a show based on the ESPN program Pardon the Interruption, Afternoon Delight, a celebrity gossip show, and Profile, a midday talk show with a late night talk show atmosphere. Uh, it's a fun show. It's in the vein of a late night talk show, but it's all in the mid-afternoon. But we try to keep it fresh with guests from all different aspects of UWL and the community. So if you're flipping through channels on a Tuesday afternoon, why don't you check out some of the great entertainment that UWL students have to offer. Again, shows are at 2.30 and 4 o'clock on this WMCM channel. For WMCM, I'm Zach Wilhelmy. Thanks, Zach. The UWL Jazz Ensembles presented a wide range of compositions this past Tuesday for their Jazz Big Bands concert. The Jazz Ensemble is broken up into two groups, Jazz 1 and Jazz 2. Jazz Ensemble 1 was directed by Gray Balfany and performed five selections including Jan Savitz' When Buddha Smiles. This selection featured freshman drum, drummer Reed Montague, sophomore trumpeter Jimmy Jusen, and junior tenor saxophonist Jordan Fay. Jazz 2 director Karen Quinn's programming included compositions from Quincy Jones, The Witching Hour, and Tom Kubis' Real Loud First Note Blues. These pieces featured junior saxophonist James Maxwell, along with freshman guitarist Matt Wywerka, and trumpeter Garrett Van Ruswick. Check out the music department's webpage to find out about upcoming concerts on the campus. The Cooley Region Humane Society has many pets needing of some love, Loving homes, here's some of the animals available in this week's edition of Perfect Pets. This adorable kitten is Charlotte, a three-month-old gray tabby. She's a little shy, but will quickly warm her way into your heart. Now this ball of energy is Bindi, a five-year-old Border Collie Lab mix. She's very playful and does well with other dogs. You say handsome and I'll say Buddy. Buddy is a six-year-old Lab mix. He's a very gentle and easy-going guy. Last but not least is Grover. This two-year-old cat has a lovely fur coat with a charming personality. <laughs> To find out more about adoption for these pets or others, contact the Cooley Region Humane Society at 781-4014. Again, the number for the Cooley Region Humane Society is 781-4014. As the water temperatures go down in La Crosse, the UWL water ski team is just heating up. This past weekend, the team traveled down to Zachary, Louisiana to compete in their national championship. While the team was placed at an outstanding eighth place. More impressively is the fact that the Eagles were the only Division III school in their Division I bracket. Advancing to nationals has the team won four collegiate water ski tournaments in the region, which include 16 teams from Wisconsin, Illinois, Michigan, Minnesota, Kansas, Missouri, and Iowa. The ski team is active in the fall and spring, and the team consists of about 40 students, ranging from freshmen to grad students, for more information, visit the team's website at the UWL homepage. Halloween is a night to express yourself by dressing up in costume, but if dressing up isn't for you, UWL's Awareness Through Performance invites you to express yourself through an open mic night on the evening of October 31st. ATB is calling all poets, artists, musicians, and performers to come to their open mic night, full disclosure. The event will take place at 7 at the Cellar in Cartwright Center. It's not necessary to sign up in advance. However, if you want to be guaranteed a spot on the stage, check out the ATP webpage to sign up. If you're looking to speak out, sing out, or enjoy the show, be sure to stop by the seller next.